Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how Rofi has changed the way I use Linux. Um, now, a, a couple things before we get started. One, I want to give credit to HexDSL, who got me started, uh, kind of pointed me towards looking at Rofi for other things other than just launching apps. One of his videos is quite awesome, where he goes through all of his S S F SXHKD bindings, and one of them, several of those are have to do with Rofi, and that's where I kind of got started. Um, second, I'm aware 100% that everything I do with Rofi can be done with the menu. Um, I don't care. <laughs> I've never cared for the menu. I think one of the reasons why is because it's hard for t harder to theme. Um, whereas Rofi is very easy to theme, not only to create your own theme, but also uh, you can find tons and tons of themes uh, online and just put them in a folder and you can use them. Whereas you have to patch DWM and all the, you know, X resources and all that kind of stuff, nonsense with DWM, it's just not, you know, as easy to use. So I like Rofi, you can just, you know, launch Rofi. You know, or I'm going to show you several things that I've set up through um, Rofi plugins that you know you can do with DWM but it's not as easy um now some people if you don't use win tiling window managers or even just floating window managers if you use a full desktop environment most people just have a menu I mean if you're using KDE or GNOME or whatever you have a menu and that's what you use if you're probably the thing that comes closest in a regular desktop environment is GNOME's ability to just hit the super key and you get a search search launcher thing um, which is cool I mean if you're using GNOME that's pretty awesome and it works um, but if you're using a, a window manager of any sort you need some kind of app launcher and that's where Rofi comes in this is what Rofi looks like and if you just want to you know start up a program you just you know say I want to start nitrogen or whatever and that's what you do um, it's very simple very easy to install um, you can either compile it from source um, or you can install it through whatever re repository your distro uses. Like uh, I, I think it's through. You can uh, use apt, or you can use. Um, it's definitely in the Arch repository. Um, so it, it's easily installed. It's easy to customize. So if you wanted to change themes, uh, you can go through and change themes. Like this, this these are all pre-installed by Arco, but. Um, you know, it's just, it's really cool. And then you just hit Control A and that's, you know, your new theme. Or, you know, this one or whatever. And if you're used to D, D menu, there is one here. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, D menu. If you look up there at the top now, it looks like D menu and you're still using Rofi. Um, so that, it, that's as easy as, that's how easy it is to switch themes. And if you have, a, if you need, if you want a theme, and you found, like I say, you, you can either build one yourself by just creating a .razi file, um, or you can download one from the internet and put it in the appropriate folder, and it's very easy. So, I guess the question is, how did it change the way I use Linux? Because I've been using Rovi for ages, uh, before I discovered that they even had plugins. And it was, you know, it was just, it was okay. I mean, it was just because I liked it better than Dmenu, it's what I used. But then I watched the Hexy, Hex DSL video and learned about this. This is a this is clip menu D, and it's a clip menu history daemon, and it just has all of the my history from my clipboard. And it's just one of the things I do very often is take the copy text from one place and put it in the other. I mean that's something that everybody does. I seem to do it more than more because I build spread spreadsheets and stuff for different things, and it's so nice to be able to copy and paste everything you want off of one page, and then move over and be able to select these things, you know, and put it in the spreadsheet. It's just completely changed the way I've used. I mean, almost the way I use Linux. Um, so th there's that, and this was pretty hard to set up mostly because of being a noob I didn't know how to cite environment variables and all that stuff so I had to learn how to do that but once I did 
it was good. It also got me into creating my own auto start script for both i3 and DWM, which I hadn't done before, and that was fun to learn. One of the things I like about Linux is that it always makes me learn some new things. So that's the clipboard menu. Now, um, one of the other things that um, I use a lot is this one here. Now, because I have 19 workspaces, sometimes things are open and I don't realize what is open. You know, like, I had no idea I even had a terminal on Workspace 1, but apparently I do. Um, oh, it's in, a, it's in a tab. That's the reason why. Um, <laughs> so, being able to have that key binding and have all my programs listed is kind of cool. I mean, it's basically Alt-Tab is basically what it is, but because you're, I'm on an i3, Alt-Tab isn't what it is on, like, a window manager. Um, and then I also have... Uh, super B t um, key binded to uh, um, emojis here. So if I wanted to use emojis, they you know I can just search for uh, happy, and you know <laughs> if you search for happy, interestingly enough, you don't get you know like a happy face. So maybe smile. Yeah. Okay. So I say I want that, and then out that's in my clipboard. Then I can go go to clipboard and see. So you can actually see it's actually here in my clipboard. Um, and that's, I mean, I don't use emojis that often. I'm much getting much closer to 40 years old than I am 30 years old, so emojis really aren't my thing. But I use them more now that I have this than I did before because they're so easy to get to. Especially it's easy, it's nice to have, like on Facebook, because Facebook doesn't have a search you know, mechanism in their, ROF, in their em emoji selector. So you have to scroll through and know what categories, what emojis are in, and it's kind of pain in the butt. But this way, I can just search for something, add it to the clipboard, and then paste it right into the text field or whatever, and it's it's there. It's awesome. Um, now here's one that I don't use very often. Uh, oops, control. Uh, I don't remember. Control shift C. No. You know. Maybe Alt C. Yeah, there it is. Alt C. As you can tell, like I said, I don't use it very often. I don't. Uh, I'm fairly good at math, so I don't necessarily need a calculator all the time, but I have this installed. Uh, and, you know, it just easy, you know, 12 times 12, and it gives you the answer. You know, that's something you don't know. I mean, it's there if I had ever, you know, needed it. And it's great because I don't have to go through and search for, I'm sure, well, I guess I don't have an actual calculator installed. I thought, take calc? Yeah, KCal. I, so I have KDE as a uh, as a uh, alternative to i3, and I guess I could launch that, but I never have. I just, you know, if I needed to do something, I'd just do that. Um, so one of the things I want to do that I haven't been able to do yet, it's twofold. I want to get Bitward and Rofi working, which I haven't been able to do yet, and I want to get um, the web search sh one working. That will allow me to search the web, which is great because a lot of things. So, uh, if you use Mac, there's an, an app called um, Albert, I think. Maybe it's Alfred. I can't remember, but it's basically it's basically a search uh, thing that allows you to do a bunch of things. Spotlight also allows you to do it on Mac, um, and uh, basically, if I could get this one this one plugin to work excuse me sorry about that um that allowed me to do that through through Rofi um one of the great things about Rofi is it's so extensible there's all these plugins that you can use um I mean a lot of ones like you wouldn't want to use like I mean I don't know why you'd want to control MPD through it but you could um same thing for like a a UI for to do to I don't even know what that is but it sounds interesting, and I'm not sure what this back end what, for the book search. What is that? That looks cool. Um, basically, this search, search search the web with Rofi by selecting book search. Search your book collection with that's really all the information they give you. Okay. So as you can see, a lot of these aren't very well documented, but it does allow you to 
I would go through and do a ton of different things with Rofi. And I'm really looking forward to going through and being able to, you know, um, do more with it because it really has changed the way it, it saved me so much time, especially the clipboard thing. I just can't get over how much a clipboard manager actually has, has helped me. I guess, I guess I should be giving some credit to Clip Menu D, but because, you know, Rofi is what lets me get to there, it, it's just completely changed the way I do things. Because most of the time I'd have to copy something and then go paste it before I could do it. Now I can copy multiple things and still have it in my history, which is great. Um, it's just completely changed things. Anyways, really short video for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked it, give the thumbs up uh, a hit. If you loved it, give us a subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.